Hello everyone and welcome back to another an exciting chess game by Mikel Tal against Miguel Cuenteros, who was the youngest ever chess champion of Argentina at the age of 18. So he became Argentinian chess champion in 1966, a strong chess grandmaster. And this was a blitz match between Tal against Cuenteros. So from 1987, so this is a must see Mikel Tal, who has the white pieces. Starts the game with e4, we have d6, the priest defense, d4, knight to f6, and we have the Austrian attack of the priest defense. Bishop to g7, knight to f3, and black castled. Bishop to d3, and then c5, charging to the center, d5 closing, developing the knight, and then Mikhail Tal also castled. Knight to c7, so black wants to expand from the queen side with b5. Queen to e1, Tal wants to play queen to h4. So we have rook to b8 and black is planning to push the pawn. Queen to h4, but Tal is directly attacking the king. So b5 and then f5 by Mikhail Tal, charging towards the king. So he wants to open the f-file. We have c4, bishop to e2 and then knight goes back. So we can say that black is a little bit more passive. Or maybe much more passive. So bishop to h6 by Mikhail Tal. So checking the king and then capturing the bishop. Queen takes on h6 and then knight to g4. Forking the queen and also attacking on f2. Knight to f2 is a threat. So what would you do in this position? Maybe a, a prophylactic move comes to mind. And this is exactly what Mikhail Tal did. <laughs> uh, he didn't play any crazy moves yet. So queen to h4 and attacking the knight, so defending and then kicking the knight to somewhere else. So both defending the queen, defending on f2 and attacking the knight and black is moving forwards. Knight to e3, forking the rook and also attacking on c2, so maybe rook to c1 comes to mind, defending both of the threats, uh, both of the targets, but Mikhail Tal played. This time, an incredible move. Well, he played queen to h6 and not defending the rook. But we have b4 and we know that when Mikhail Tal plays chess, one mistake is all it takes. So he needs one mistake uh, that uh, he is going to be able to exploit it and he is going to defeat his opponent. So in this position, in between move, black is attacking the knight. And Mikhail Tal played knight to g5, not moving the knight. An incredible move, another amazing move by Tal. And look at this position. The rook, the knight, they are all hanging. But we have bishop takes on f5. So if capturing the knight, then f takes on g6 and good luck defending rook takes knight. And then checkmating the king on h7, eliminating the defender and then checkmating the king. If knight takes rook, the other rook is going to join the attack. And then again, good luck, rook takes knight, and then checkmating the king on h7. Black had to find bishop to f5, but then rook takes on f5, knight takes, e takes. Well, this is still dangerous. So rook to b1, and you can see that the queen and the knight, and also the pawns, are too close to the king. So this could be very tricky to defend against Mikhail Tal. But black is holding his ground, although white is slightly better in this position, believe it or not. So anyway, so in this position, after b4, this amazing move happened. Knight to g5 and not defending the knight or the rook. Amazing. So we have bishop takes on f5. One mistake is all it takes. Tal played. E takes on f5. Knight takes on f5. And then came rook takes on f5 by Tal. So g takes on f5 and it is white to move. Tal played another amazing move and after that move his opponent resigned. I wonder if you can guess that move. What would you do if you had the white pieces? So let me give you a few seconds. If you want you can pause the video. It is a tricky move but not a very difficult move to find. Okay, so Tal played knight from c to e4. Absolutely fantastic. And basically the immediate threat is knight takes knight, check. 
King Over and then Queen takes on h7, lights out. And if capturing the knight, this is going to open the f file, rook to f1, and good luck, rook takes knight, and pawn takes rook, and queen takes on h7, check mate. And believe it or not, but in this position, there is no reasonable defense. The only move which is going to prolong the game is queen to e3, and then rook takes on f6, and black has to give up the queen, check, and there is no enough compensation for black, white is easily winning in this position. So, okay, I hope that you have enjoyed watching this chess game, and I hope to see you next time with more amazing chess games of Mikhail Tal. And Tal defeated his opponent with scoring 7 wins, 7 wins out of 10 games. So, again, thanks again, stay safe, and bye-bye.